Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Master Con. Welcome back to iRace and Indy Car Fix series where we're looking to improve upon what we did in Homestead the last time out in the season opener. I did not do another race round there, so we've had a poor start to the season and it's about to get even worse as we're on the Trin Ring Meditoka in Japan. It used to be a fixture on the Indy Car calendar last decade before it disappeared after the unification and after the plant that exploded there. I forget the name of it. I do apologise, but yeah, they had their last race actually round the road course round here in 2011, I want to say, and we haven't seen it since. And this oval is a bit different than most ovals going to visit because the first corner is flat out, easy, flat out, even though it's a massive bump in the middle, I'll definitely point it out during the race. But then the second corner is so tight, it's a bit like Gateway's corner where you actually have to break slightly have to downshift and you have to try and be brave and carry the speed and carry the throttle through that corner and it is so different the two corners here it really makes it quite an unique oval and I am terrible round here as before I've only raced round here I think twice before I think I crashed out both times and it was like five years ago so I don't have a good record round here but let's see if we can do any better well I didn't even qualify I didn't see top time 27 flat we're all the way down in 11 for a 27.4. My best lap I've done so far round there, and I'm still four tenths off the pace. As you can see, 14 drivers qualified, only 20 in the race, only 20 signed up. We're in the middle of a Sunday, so we've perhaps got quite a range of drivers here, range of driver skill. So if I end up around here, I guess would be all right at the end if I get a top 10. That is, that is always the aim. Catch the free car. What am I trying to catch the free car? You mean the 11 car spotter? He's already drunk. Oh, not there. He's fixed himself. See, it's just before Christmas, you know. This is going to be actually my last race before Christmas, because I'm not going to run this again. No doubt about that. I'm just waiting until next week. And I think it's Indy next week. I'll definitely be trying to race that a lot. So she has its Christmas week as well. Got some time off work, or a bit more time off work, so. Hopefully have more time to do this race on Christmas Day or Boxing Day as well. Definitely looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to this empty that race though around this one and a half mile oval. Let's see what we can do. Again, just like in Homestead, if I get a top five, I'll be a static top three champagne party. Top right, top one, winner running naked down the streets. But let's see if we save. He's got a fantastic start. So I'll take that at the start. Let's see go into turn one now. Watch out for the bump. There. If I had an OSW or one of those drive wheels, I feel like my wrist would be swinging in different directions now. So we go into the second corner. That's all, someone's gone very wide on the outside. So good start, very good start there. Up into the top 10. So someone's already down below. And we've already got to get her out. Now the only race I watched around here previously, there were like five or six cautions. There was barely any green running. It was only in the last 10 laps where they got a solid run going on. So I'm wary of that. This race could be of say survival and just making sure we're there at the finish. Which seems to be the case for most IndyCar racers, I think you've probably noticed this, they've had in over the last season and a bit now, but that's why we're just aiming for a top 10, because I don't think we have the pace to change for a top 5, but I think top 10 is doable, especially if we have lots of drivers falling out where we are, where we are at the moment. I just died a bit there, coughing. Throat's still not the best, but I don't think it's worth pitting this early. Because I'm not sure about tyres, I don't think they wear off too badly. Especially as I said, we expect lots of caution, so... Probably not worth pitting now. Even though we are quite in the middle of the pack, quite low down the field. So we are gearing up then, for the restart. No one really pitted, I don't think. Maybe 
drivers at the back, but no one in front of us, so we're still in 10th. There's a bit of a gap between everyone in front, though. We've had like 6th or 7th really drag quite slow. Where are we going now? We're getting ready. We go green for who knows how many laps, maybe two or three. Got a good view of the leader, though. Has got a good start though. Good jump in front as well by someone. Someone's gone a bit wide in front. Oh no! Hopefully not too damaged. As I probably should have anticipated that a bit better. First. Steering seems okay. It might just be a fast repair. So we're definitely pitting under this yellow then. That well, guy just got two though. I really should have anticipated that a bit earlier in the corner because it looked like who's going low. The main thing we kept it out of the wall. And it seems like the steering's not balked, so it should hopefully just be a fast repair. And then we'll be at the back, and hopefully we can maybe try and force our way through this field. It could be a bit more of an exciting race than me struggling to catch up to the top five, as it probably would have been. There we go, into the pits then. As I'm going to take you into the pits, because I believe we now have animations. Because there was an update in iRacing during the middle of the week. It updated quite a few things. I believe Indy Car Animations was one of them. They also bought the Chili Bowl here, which is a, one of the pr most prestigious dirt oval races. So let's see. No, as, uh, we still got Magical Pit Crew, God's sake. As you can see, I've changed my colours as well. Got is much more colourful now. So is the car as well, if you see it, but we've made it through. So we've got no more fast repairs remaining. But I believe we're back in business. Well, I hope we are at least. Even though we are in last. So we recognise a couple of names now at the back. The guy behind us actually finished third in that Homestead Miami race, so watch out for him. And the restart. And the guy in front, number 14, we've raced him quite a bit. Tends to be a bit more cautious from what I remember, so we might have to try and get past him quite quickly. If he doesn't pit, of course, it looks like he's setting up to pit. But we'll see how it shakes out. Then try and get another good restart, that was absolutely superb. Until the first corner, of course. No, no problem, man. Well, I could have anticipated a bit more. So we are about to go green again. As we're down in 15, so that guy did pit as well. And you see it's a bit spread out in front. I want it to be a bit more packed up. But we might get a good launch then across the line. That's all guy, guy in front's pitting. What the hell? Okay, that's a turn up for the books. We've got a fantastic launch into the first corner. Guy in front's gone very wide. There's a still alongside us, god damn it. Okay, speed into the corner, take that position as they're going three wide in front. Oh, and the guy in front won that race in Miami last time. So we've got quite a few regulars here then. We'll go for the first corner. Enjoy being flat out while we can. So good start then, up to 13th. So that we're down a bit too much, so I caught out the guy behind. 
as someone hit the wall in front. Here's a bit there in front. I just had to lift over the bump there, otherwise I could have got 12, I think. Bit wide there again. Not very good into three or four. That's all there's been contact in front, maybe. See this slightly in the middle of the corner, so we get a good run off it. So I definitely caught off the guy behind her. So wants to go very wide in that corner. That's killing our that time. I feel like I'm lifting at the right point, I'm just not getting the car into the corner. I'm again having to lift over the bump. Now here comes the guy behind, and the lapped car as well. Get it all the way down to third, bloody hell. See, this is why I'm terrible around this, of course. So there's the big pump, almost caught us out. I'm behind has a little look. Not able to make it stick. That's really cost him, actually. Cost him a few tents. Thank God for that. We were struggling. Definitely go back to the drawing board in the next stint. Because we're not taking that east corner well at all. Maybe too much brake. Maybe not enough speed or too much speed going into the corner. Definitely not carrying enough speed during the corner. That's something we definitely got to improve. Well, let's see what we can do after. Do we pit? We're in 12. That car's 17th. We scroll down. We've got 15 cars. So. Might be worth pitting. We might be able to go to the end. Because they normally fill the feel like two thirds or three quarters. So if we pit now, we might have a chance of making it to the end. But then there's probably going to be more cautions. So is it really worth pitting? Find out on the next restart. And everyone pitted. So of course we did as well. And as you see, we're in the top 10. We're achieving our goal. We've got 48 laps to go, so I reckon if everyone pit in, then we can go flat out to the end. Well, not flat out, but we can make it to the end on this amount of fuel. Because once again, there are some gaps in front. Is that Sith again causing that? As that wasn't a good start. Better than the guy behind, no? That's all that's clashing in front. Trying to take the outside line it. Might have found our line there, like three or four grooves up. So we stay in 10th, we'll take that. Come on, very racy though. So he's got the outside. a bit higher there in the middle of the corner. 
So they kind of had to back off, but we held on. That's all. Someone's very close to all in front. So back them behind very hard. Obviously just lifting slightly in that. In that first couple of corners, so if it is a fuel race, saving a little. That was a bit too big a lift. Well, should, plus we're away from the madness of the top five battle in front. That seemed to be better in that corner. So not particularly impressive that time, so. This is a bit of a gap in front. We're getting better in three and four. Guy behind's not really pressuring us. But so closing ever so slightly up tonight. As well, what's happening tonight? Bloody hell, what was that? Turned into Ghost Rider. We didn't need to go all the way down the third on that occasion. Uh, so we let the guy behind in front of us. Or not. Oh no, he's kept the white line. God, he would have had us as well. We were very lucky there. Just got the turn in wrong. He saw that when we were tight with him going into that corner, if you're tight into that first corner, it can just usher the car up. So you feel like you have to turn in a bit more and thought you might have got it wrong there. Like that guy before as well, he spun in front of us. So this first corner might be easier, but when you're racing side by side, it can be just as tricky as three and four. As we approach the halfway mark of this race, how many courses has this been? It's like four or five already. This race might be over by Christmas then. But it's given us a better chance of getting the top ten, selfishly. Well, these people have any issues in one and two. I don't think we pit, do we? I know, here we go, it's opening. Well, we're in 10th, but there's only like 14 drivers, so I think everyone pits. Yeah, everyone does pit. Oh, apart from the guy in front. Hello. That's a bit of a turn up. So you go down pit lane then. And you see it's 49 miles per hour, not 50 above. Well, you could switch between second and first and maintain 50, but there's no point. We're under caution. can just ease it into our pit stop. Mm. Our pit stall, shall we say. 6.2, shocking. Spec consistent 6.1s pit crew. Where's that point one coming from? That's coming from someone's rages. That point one. Don't know how that's going to work, but decent pit stop. Look at Holden over in front. 
14th when he came in. Leapfrog ahead of us. I wonder if he didn't take tyres. Or he didn't take fuel. To be fair, taking fuel shouldn't upset you too much. So I wonder if he didn't take tyres then. Maybe just topped up. We'll see in the next stint. Hopefully it can last a bit more than like five laps. We got going a bit there. So we are back in 10th. Seems we're glued to this position, this race. We won't mind that at the end, no. As we've got half of the race to go. And the biggest challenge for everyone is to survive five laps, I think, off this next restart. But as in the other races I've seen, it does get a bit more flowing in the second half of races. So let's see if that happens. It was a bit crazy in front though, that back then. That's another good restart. Just giving that couple of tenths gap in front seems to really help there. So being right behind someone. Let's go over the bump. Look at, he's like three wide in front, three or four wide. Here comes the guy behind, we're just going to let off, let you by. That's all the lapped car's got his lap back in it, it's like. So a bit far back at the moment. That's out through the first corner. Look at that guy, he's really is back trying to charge to the front. Finally. Once again, flat out through one and two. Now that bunt's pushed us right again. As who could maybe see that happening with how everyone was. And it looks like he might not continue with that damage. Let's see you though. Is this like rare crashing three and four this time? But they try to make it three wide in really kind of a one groove corner. Never really going to work out. Lucky we were going wide there. Otherwise we could have got caught up in that. There's 11 car, you've got to let me by. What are you doing? I know, he's not slowing down though. There we go. So yeah, we were very lucky we were getting overtaken there. For once and going wide and we could see that crash kind of unfold. Take the appropriate measures. Hope we didn't catch guys behind though. As those quite a few drivers got caught up behind as well, including I think the seven car as well. We've got the previous leader behind us, number nine car. So interesting again, do we pit or do we stay out? So we definitely got enough fuel for the end. As now we're stuck behind the 12 car. Don't think the 11 car's getting it, to be honest. So not the longest of greens has. We're going to be in 8th. As you finally got past the 11 car. But I reckon we're going to fall back quickly out of the top 10. We'll see how long we can hold on, though. Until the next caution. So we're racing very hard round here. 
There we go. All the way down the first. Good downshifts there. No audio glitches at all. It's got a fantastic start. Much better than the guy in front. So we've already made up one place. So we're up to seventh. I'll take that. It's a bit wide in the first corner. That's all forever going wide in that first corner. Still holding on the outside, I don't know how. Oh, we've finally been forced wide. Here comes everyone. It was a good run. That was a bit hairy. I didn't realise it's free wide. Where's this guy come from? As I was losing my voice a bit in the middle of that, so that's why I was a bit quiet, but then so we've finally been passed, so we're down to 12, got a bit of a gap behind. But it feels like we're just gonna be holding on for these last 20 or that. As I was way too much breaking again into the final corner. Don't know if we did trail breaking, but we seem to be doing it a lot. So unless there's more mischief, this is the best position I think we can get 12. Because we just don't have the pace. Actually, it might be 13th, the guy behind's catching us. And so we're already nine tenths behind drivers in front. So almost going up towards the wall. Might need to get a later turn in then in that first corner. Someone very abysmal in that 
three, four. So I'm fighting in front for eight, it looks like. And that bump in the middle of one and two is just killing us, though. Well, that's better. Much better in three and four. Why well, haven't we been doing that earlier? And that's how we we just responded to the guy behind as well. These better laps. We're getting on to the drivers in front, just. So they're doing 28 fours then. Number nine car's probably doing a 28-1 or zero. Those seem much quicker. But yeah, we found a groove now. What the hell? We even done a 28-3. So around 15 laps to go. It's not looking too bad. So once again, trail brakes into that corner. Just need to dab the brakes, not trail brake. And it's like the guy behind is falling back though. That's what we want to see. So they're battling frantically over eight now. There you go, that's better. I just got to trust the car a bit more for green four. So I always think we're going a bit too wide, so I just hit the brakes a bit more when this car's got loads of downforce. Just need to trust it. See, so we'd even took one in two flat. We're keeping up with the guy in front. I'm not sure if he's running into issues or not. Posting consistent 28 threes. Which isn't too bad for us. We've got a nice on the power. This nose has gone a bit darker as well. That's of course the big update with our racing. The season one patch, that day night's finally here, and as you can see, it's getting darker. I wonder if it goes to night time then by the end, or I think we stopped just before then, unfortunately. I saw big ass clouds above us, which may be helping him with the darkening. There you go, that's better. It only took us almost 60 laps to find a rhythm. We're there. So in the last 10 laps of the race, you actually are gaining on Nipe slightly. Not enough to be eaten into the lead though. Well, like take major chunks out of it.
But to be honest, I'm just glad train wing is over. They love those advertising audience in three and four. Just like it's a bit plain everywhere else. Just put we can't put stands there. Just put loads of advertising. Blind them with it. No, you can even see it from here. Big ass Honda logo. Do it like that. I want to say I'm disappointed not getting a top 10, but because that was our aim, but seeing our lack of pace, that's probably the best we can finish, so. I guess I have to take 12. Then roll on. As I said, I believe it's Indy next. And I love Indy. Because that's where we got our win last season as well, so. It's the circuit we always do well around. I even done. I remember I even finished on the podium in the trucks there once. And I could have won that race if it was green for another couple of laps instead of ending on a caution so yeah definitely am a fan of Indy of course finishing the podium there in Pro Mazda as well just don't talk to me about the road course though I still have to get my feel for the road racing Now, yeah, I am going to try out the Fauna Renault 3.5 around the Nürburgring, so you might see that race. I don't know where F3 is, but I haven't even tried out that car yet, so definitely want to try it out. If not this week, it'd be at next week's venue. I missed out trying it at the Circuit Deal Gilles Villeneuve in the week one, that would have been fun. And I would have hated having to take so much curve with that car. As I did with the Formula Renault 3.5 round Zolder. Could not get to grips with that car around there, so... I'd probably be better around the Nürburgring, we're around the circuit I know a bit better. And a bit more comfortable around. Like, I haven't, I've barely raced Zolder in anything, so... Probably wasn't the best baptism or fire with the Formula Renault 3.5, but... Then they race around the Nürburgring quite a lot. It's crashing front. Hey, we're going to get 11th in the end. So I guess I'll get, I'll take that result then. Let's go. This race has lasted over 50 minutes. Been a long one. And of course, it has to end in a caution. Our sixth or seventh one. There have been a heck of a lot of them. And once again, in one and two, going side by side. Just didn't work out. So let's check something. So it says Ford would have lasted another 20 laps. That's probably another between five or 10 laps in reality, though. So if I knew this race was 75 laps, it would have been interesting. Well, we'll take 11th, matching our result from Homestead. As you can see, we're the number 17 car in the 20-person field, so we've done better than perhaps should have done, according to our rating. So, decent outing. My best so far around the drink room we're taking. That shows how terrible I am around here, though. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. But I'll take that result, especially as... I don't, I don't know how bad damage is from earlier, from that clash. But if our car is damaged, didn't feel like it, just felt like I was slow. But I check that in the replays after. And I said, roll on the next week. There's not been a good start to the season. When I said I wanted to win the championship as well. 
Well, I said, hopefully it's Indy next week. I'll race, you know, five, maybe even up to ten times around there. I really do love racing around there. So, and it's a, it's a circuit that shoots at me a bit better because we don't have that to break four quarters. It's more about managing the gap in front and the corners with how bad the dirty air is and just managing the fuel as well again it will probably have a 40 that race and it'll be 30 that should be filled with fuel but we expect those are cautions and it's a circuit which does invite side by side racing because you've got a massive draft down the long straight but in between the short shoots as well people will try stuff even though they shouldn't just try and set it up if you're going into three behind, just behind someone with like a nose maybe alongside maybe back off try and get a good run through four and then set it up into turn one which is a much better passing spot than three so be interesting if it's Indy I feel much better than this race Schedule some testing. You need to schedule a new driver, mate. Not just some testing. But 11th. That will do. And I hope you enjoyed some more indie car fixed action. Now, so we're, we're going to follow the pace car around. Here we go. Well, can we go in the pace car? That'd be interesting. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We're the pace car driver now. But I hope you enjoyed this week's action I'll be back next week as I said maybe with some Formula Renault 3.5 as well or the Ferrari GT3 Challenge I forgot about that that's at Donington this week definitely want to try that out I don't race around Donington in ages but thanks for watching and from the IndyCar Pace Car I'll see you next time